Hey everybody, okay, I finally made it. Yes, my car did kind of similar, just, it broke down a little bit. There was like water shooting out of a hose and it was making my engine smoke. So luckily I found a repair shop here in town. Got to meet some new people, that's good. It's gonna cost 225 bucks, it could be worse. <sighs> but anyway, Pete is here. I'm really glad that Pete came because if he didn't come, there would, I wouldn't have a ride. So Pete came and he picked me up. So we're going to be setting the swale lines for the swales. Yes. For the front swales. Okay. So what all we got? Well, we got some flags and laser level us and that's all we need. Okay, <laughs> cool. Do you think we're going to need to, like what what's going to happen if we, if we set the line and we're like, there's a big old tree or something like this cedar or oak or uh -huh. what do we do about that well then we just work around it okay so we'll work around and then any small ones we might just yeah we'll just those. have to make a decision about each individual tree and you know um we might move the line here or there to make it fit all right yeah we're starting the swales all right so if you remember there's going to be a garden in here. in here. Okay, yep. See the house, house sites up there, you know, kind of behind, on either side of this big tree. Okay. And then you'll have a little path coming down here, and I think the garden will be, you know, on this side of that big oak tree, and then you'll just be able to walk right out of your house. Yep. And walk right into the garden. And so is the does the road separate the garden yes. and the house? Okay, cool. So we just gotta make sure that whenever we're laying out these lines, we're not gonna, you know, step in some somewhere else. Step okay. in some other spot where there's supposed to be something else. And am I spelling swell correctly? Is it because autocorrect seriously does not like S W A L E. That's how you spell it. That is? Mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> Come on, Apple. Learn permaculture, man. So, road starts right here. So, I'm just gonna pace off and uh, figure out the distance between the fence and the garden. So yeah, I just wanna pace it out and see, um, just to make sure that we have the spacing right. All you right. Know, when you space them out, you want them to be kind of evenly spaced between here and the garden and the fence and everything. In here with the first one, right in here, got enough space here for a good sized garden. And I think that this first swale is probably going to have to go underneath these trees. So what's what's the benef pros and cons of going above the trees and below the trees? Well, if we go above the trees, then we'll have more sunlight because the north is this way and the south is over there, and then we'd be getting more south sun, even though we're on the north side of the hill, and we'd be getting north wind protection as well. So if we start right here, it looks like we run into a tree right oh. here. So it might be smart. First. So what I'm going to do now is go back down here and see if we can start down a little bit lower. Okay. So this is just to set a little first line and... Yeah, you got to do this to, you know, just see what's going on. The maps on the internet are generally correct, Yeah. but they're not going to give you you know, to the tenth of an inch exactly where the contour is going. So what I'm doing, digging something like this, I sit down here at below the line, so I've got to make sure the machine can get through here. We might take out this cedar tree right here, then we'll be able to bring the line down 
another 10, 12 foot. See, it's clear this way, and then maybe we can get through those oak trees right there. I usually try to keep the digging out from underneath the drip edge of the tree. So yeah. this is the drip edge right here. But you can take the berm into the tree a little bit. Okay. So the berm can be underneath the drip edge. That's fine. But we can try and keep keep from digging into there. I think we'll just drop this line down a little bit and move it. Do maybe. we need to do the level and everything the whole time? Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to reshoot it. Okay. That one. And here. So the laser is right over there. And the next spot needs to be in this big, huge brush. So Pete needs to get in there somehow. You can't even see through that. Yeah. But, but still pretty hey. good spacing. I know, well, on that one. this is our first little snag. All those little thorns, feel it. Oh, okay. This is a dewberry. Cool. So you've got a lot of these. So we can eat those? Oh yeah. Okay, is that thing coming out of just the ground? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. No, those, they're hardy. There's some right there. There's some more. Yeah, they fruit in the early spring. The deer and everything is gonna beat me to it, probably. Maybe not. I got a lot last year. Really? Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Cool. And. Even if, I mean, we're gonna put a road here, it doesn't matter. Sure, oh no, yeah. I'm just thinking for this. I mean, you've got a lot of these. Well, that's a good thing, is that blackberries place. will just do good. Oh yeah, yeah, this is prime time blackberries. So you got this side right here. So your little drive is, comes up here, and you've got this over here. You could be building in this area, or you could build in this area over here. So there's a house site here and a house site here. The initial plan as of now is to have the shed house 16 by 50. And then also coming off of that is possibly a guest house. That one would probably be maybe a small little two or 300 square foot little spot. <laughs> maybe we can set some flags uh -huh. for the exterior of both of those? Can we do that? Sure. Oh, you're marking the road, is that what you said? It's just the edge of it. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, so that's, yeah. Yeah, I think this road Eventually it's gonna come a little bit tighter in right there to the tree. Okay. We might take that tree out. Anyways, that road will come in a little tighter and not be such a hard corner. And then it will come like this. Yeah, yeah, I like that. So you said 16 by 50. Yep. So if you wanna build a little house pad here you know, you'd want to make it a little wider than that. Mm-hmm. Maybe like 25. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, I see. 50 foot off the road there. Okay. Basically, what I'm trying to do is enough that where we can we can say, hey, we need to clear this. So you think that's 16 by 50 right there? It's bigger than that. That's 25 by 50? It's like 25 by 60. Okay, okay, so that's the path, gotcha. I think what I'm realizing is this lets us know pretty much all of this we need to clear out except for the big trees that we like currently. So this cedar tree right here, you could trim up the lower branches, just limb yeah. the bottom branches off, and that'd be a nice shade tree for your house. In the summer, the sun is gonna be setting over here. Yeah. So in the summer, you're gonna get a lot of protection 
on your house site. So, you know, in the middle of your house, will be getting shaded by this tree. Yeah. In the in the in the height of the summer. You want the house? Oh, that's the house. So it's the house right here, um, and then it'll come in and have the porch. Uh huh. Don't you think that's to have a screen and porch on this side? Yep. So then have the screen and porch on this side, overlooking the garden, the and, garden everything. and everything. And then, but then she also wants a 360 degree porch on the other side too. For that mound porch. Yeah, for the kids to play over there. I think that's a great idea. So I think the structures will be parallel with the road. Yeah. So the long side will be equal distance from the road, you know, as it's going along, you know. So the house will be kind of angled this way, and so will that one, which is a good angle, you know, because it's kind of facing northeast. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's going to be facing not west. Gotcha. So we protected from the west. Yep. Western sun by these trees is what we want. Now originally we put the house site right here and the shop site over there. So if you had your house right here, you'd have this nice oak tree in the front yard. And then you look straight out into the garden. And then your fruit trees would be in the backdrop of the, uh, of the garden. You know, so you'd basically just be looking from your front porch into the garden and then with fruit trees in the background and a nice sheltered area. This is a really private area. It'll feel real nice and cozy in here. It's gonna be beautiful. Pete Van Dyke, drought proof Texas, he's the man. High five, <laughs> cause I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would come around kind of like this. Yeah, maybe even a little further back, maybe. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about, man. Yeah. Well, I think you could bring it back. Yeah, like this. That'd be killer. Or you could build a floating dock. Ah, a floating dock. Honey, it's up to you. You get it.